As you can see, the landscape has changed quite a bit. And there it is, Spaceship Earth. Looking as perfect as always. Monorail. Hey guys, welcome. We're over at Epcot for today. It's gonna be a fun day out. We're not rushing at all, except for Tiffany right now, but that's because she has her own stuff to take care of quick. But anyway, we are over at Epcot for a fun day off. It's Sunday, it's just before Christmas, and then, yes, we are gonna do a Christmas vlog just like last year. It's gonna be fun. Now, the last time we were here, they were just setting all this up. And now, everything's looking nice. Now, if you notice, here we are over at the seaside. That used to be Starbucks and the World of Coke over there. Club Cool, actually here, it was called. Yeah, all of it is gone. Now, right over here is another great view. Pretty cool. So our first ride of the day, Journey into Imagination with Figment. But first, we gotta wait. I still think it's pretty cool that you can see inventions from movies of the old years. I have all of them. I think Wayne Selinski is my favorite. Never really cared for Flubber. Now, just when you're getting off the figment ride, look at that bag. I haven't seen that one before yet. It's a Disney Vacation Club model. Yeah. Now, on this little reef right here, recipe for the holiday season. One cup of hope, one cup of charity, one cup of faith. Mix well and sprinkle with love and kindness. Best shared with friends, with family and friends. It's so cool. But yeah. And here we are, over in the lamp pavilion. Looking pretty busy this morning. Now since we're doing this during the daytime, you're not gonna see it as bright. But take a look. Sneezing. Hi. Bye. Bye. Oh, that is a massive seizure warning right there. So be careful if you're looking at this at home. Welcome to our living laboratory where scientists from Epcot and the U.S. Department of Agriculture. Are well known around the world. Hello. Hello. Is it Olaf? Hello. I'm flying. I thought it looks more like Frosty. While others are well adapted to growing in less than ideal conditions. Really? Hello. Frosty. Hello. And look, there's little lights in the ground too. All parts of this plant. Here we go. Flower you can see them right the there. The that would look really awesome at night. So, 
lesser-known trunk of the plant may be as important as the bananas growing on both sides of the boat. More than 28 million tons of bananas are eaten annually, making it the most popular fruit in the world. And look, there's a reef back there. It's a pretty flower. That is one big pumpkin. And look, even the fish tanks are decorated. It's funny, a long time ago, this actually used to be an alligator habitat in here. And then they did away with it. And look, coming up on the hidden Mickey. And a Christmas tree. Lily actually noticed it before I did. Look at that beautiful cotton decoration right there. It is the fabric of our lives. Now we're actually coming up on a hidden Mickey right here. Although, not so hidden, it's kind of 3D. Another innovation at work here is our integrated pest management program. At night, I imagine you can actually see it a lot better. It's another great way to produce more while it is less. In our lab, Epcot scientists are working with the U.S. Department of Agriculture. Pretty cool. And finally, an area that no matter if it's bright or dark, you can still enjoy. I like how they did the tunnel in here. Truthfully, I don't know why the lights flicker on the camera like they do. Maybe it's just the frame rate or something. Now, the last time that we were here, all this was still up, okay? But, onto this side over here, they started taking it down a little bit. But, now, they're just slowly removing everything. It's open already. Okay, so this area was a restroom as planned to be built. But yeah, if you look over to the side, that's gonna be a new Starbucks. I gotta admit, the bathroom looks pretty fancy and nice. It's really cool looking. I know. I like the little mural on the back wall. It's a pretty cool design. But then look, on the side, a hidden cast member only door. Not really hidden, but still. But as you can see, that is the usual logo for Starbucks right there on that wall. You can see the green little icon behind it. Now look, if you want a Mother's Day card to get ahead, you can buy one now. $4.50. A little early. All these people lining up to get something good. See, look, that's the salmon right there. They got the Canadian wild rice and ham soup. Frozen coffee, interesting. Hey, Lil, can we do a Skyliner? No. Please? No. What if I give you money? <laughs> Nicely decorated, and if you notice, now the Skyliner is moving quite briskly, too. I can and they tore Eiffel. I I that looks cool. Let's keep going around. All around here, they have different little landscape views. This one here is the Arc de... I am going to butcher that name. Triumph? Triumph? I don't know. And here is the final one. These cutaway balls are pretty cool. Hi, yeah. <laughs> I think I have a reflection. The Butch de Noel. Mm. 
And where that happy-go-lucky gentleman is, that is where Ratatouille is gonna be. Yeah! Yeah! And look, the holiday cookie stroll. And then if you come around here, and this is for France, a pastrami on rye. Are you sure this is France? Oh, hi. France was already back there, Ryan. It says El Chem. I imagine it's France. Then what is this? Smoked salmon potato. Right, yeah, see, you can even see France is right there. Look. Yeah? Their stand is right there. So then what is this named for? Hi! Hello. What country is this for? Uh, so this is for, um... So Lachaim is actually inspired by the Jewish style New York delis. It's not for Hanukkah. It's for the uh, Jewish style New York delis. Um, it's actually not based on any one country. It's the location that they put it in. Oh, okay. It, I will admit though, it is not kosher, so we can't guarantee anything would be kosher. I think we do, we might have a uh, kosher dessert, but everything else is not kosher, unfortunately. Cool. Now this is one of our favorite places. New Year Celebration Soba. I hope it's different than the frothy ramen. That wasn't good. Sushi tree. And then the matcha creme brulee. I that mean, kind of sounds interesting. Look, uh, that's your good. little sushi tree. That's your celebration soba. Yeah. And that's your matcha creme brulee. Nothing here I would eat. It's really weird because I hate agreeing with Tiffany, but yeah, there's just not anything this year that's saying, hey, buy me. Because you have to remember, we're not sponsored at all. We don't get any money from any sources other than my paychecks, so. But yeah. They're online. This is adorable. That is so rare, too. You don't normally see Sword Art Online stuff. Oh, you really don't. Especially now. I know. It's too cute. Stickers. I'll tell you one thing if they had a hat or shirt, I would be jumping for joy. But, let's check and let's see if they got any new shirts. This is really cool. And I love the saying, life is full of up and down, never give up. Simple but elegant. Never give up. Life is full of ups and downs, never give up. Look at I have a feeling that this is something that 12 year old Tiffany would love to play with at night. Well, I imagine that there's stickers that you put on the wall. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. Like I said, 12 year old Tiffany would have loved you that. Had the stars put on my wall. I know, but the whole Japanese thing. I know, that would have been You've been so crazy for that. It's funny, this is the number one souvenir besides Mickey ears that I see everybody walking around with. And mini bows. That is really pretty. Now, a lot of this candy used to go ahead and get over at World Market. Yeah. However, now they kind of like got rid of that section at that store. This small little container actually has 21 grams of sugar in it. Oh, that's so sweet. Try looking at a can of Coke, you'll be surprised. Yeah, this is smaller than a can of Coke, right? It this is. Like So beautiful and tranquil. Ah, the return of the squirrel again. This is really pretty. We did have an encounter last time with a squirrel. Yeah, right. And I got super close to him. He was pretty yeah. cool too. This one just wants to stay away from us. I don't blame him, but it looks like he's hunting for something. And look, funnel cake. Either it's because we're starving because we didn't eat breakfast, or I don't know why. I like a cooking cream funnel cake. $12. Or you can get a gift kit. 
You can let somebody make funnel cake at their own home for $19. Yes. Not exactly the greatest gift for Tiff. Yeah, it's a little hard to Ah, uh, the evil queen forced to dress up. Or if you look at the new movies, just misunderstood queen. Kind of a pretty version of Rapunzel. So this is what it's going to look like in the future. It's kind of interesting. It'll be the smokehouse. But for now, this is what it's looking like. Now when you're hungry but you just want a little snack, you can get a hot dog here. Or something even better. You can get a whole turkey leg. But look, a jumbo turkey leg, $13.25. Or popcorn and souvenir bucket for $12. I think I'd rather have the turkey leg than the popcorn. Take a look, Christmas donuts. Pretty cool. And look, a Christmas elf. I love you, my Christmas elf. Short, tiny, and adorable, just like a Christmas elf. And she's all in green. Yeah, she got green and red hair going on. Okay, that is so weird. So, Tiffany is actually going to do a break time right now because she can't feel her feet at all. No, I can't feel them at all. Are your shoes too tight? So, while Tiffany does her break, I want to go ahead and show you the pork and vegetable egg rolls, Mongolian beef bun, which is right there. And the Celebration Barbecue Pork. And then Street Fries. Although, with the bun, you do get a fortune cookie, which is really cool. Look at her messing hers up. This is what it looks like when you first get it. And that is the fortune cookie you get. So what do you think? Oh my god, so good. Either that or she's starving. And Lily stole the fortune cookie. Wow. What does it say? Drastic means are not as necessary as you think. Now, I did get these two buns and a bottle of water. And it cost us $17 in my pocket. So $17 for all this. This is why we are very particular on which ones we go to. Now, before we actually go into the store, that I like before she takes off of it. A disability access sign. It's about time that we get some signage up to help people with knowing where to go. See, she just wanted to be under an umbrella, just in case it rains. Such a festive time in Norway. So what can we buy for two dollars at Magic at Epcot? Here. Hi. Not very much. <laughs> Bye. Oh. Actually, Are we a single shopping bag? Oh, oh crap! It is two dollars, but that still doesn't pay the tax. No. Yeah. Oh no. Pretty cool, look at that monorail. Or you can get the whole monorail. Well, where are you getting? <gasps> Jessie doll? I'm Oh man. <laughs> so many receipts. All right. Thank you. Happy holidays and happy magic. Thank you. Hi. 
So Lily, are you happy? Yeah, yeah. Are you happy with everything you got? Good. So this a reminder, we are done for the day for this park. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe. Turn on notifications if you wish. It would really help us. So that way you also know when we actually post new stuff. Because we do it sporadic throughout the day. We never know when we're going to upload. And thank you guys very much for watching. We appreciate and we love each and every one of you. And remember, holiday time is meant for everybody. And that's what our content is. Family friendly for everybody. So thank you very much and we'll see you on our next adventure. Bye for now. To add to my collection of videos in the monorail. Choo -choo. Monorail. Choo -choo. I'll never win with her. Goodbye for now.